Welcome back to Mighty Number no. 9. We're playing the final level of the game, the Battle Coliseum. The Battle Coliseum? Yep, you know, this, this is the last this is level. A, this is a game for kids. The Battle Coliseum, where people fight in a Coliseum. They battle! I mean, it's called the Battle Coliseum, not like the Coliseum of Nocten or like, you know, uh, the arena of whoever the bad guy is in this fucking game. <laughs> this is where we start a tournament arc for Mighty Number no. 9. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just goes on forever! And then Frieza comes back, and then they fight Goku! Yes! <laughs> Let's just do every tournament arc ever made! And then they do a hiatus, and then they come back with another goddamn tournament arc! <laughs> We'll end one series with a tournament arc, and then we'll bring it back, and then we'll have another tournament arc! And then it's time for this mid-season break! <laughs> with what in the blue blazes? The, the, the Battle Coliseum itself has been... Wow! Yes, absorbed, and as in I'm that absorbed into the performances occurring on screen. Yeah, so let me just give you a quick old recap of what happened. So, uh... Dr. White, or whatever his name is right there, the good doctor, his original design for a robot to use the cell absorption, the thing that Beck has, uh, she kind of went off the rails and used too much absorption, and she was a failed project. So that's the final boss, introduced about one level ago, maybe two, that... Uh, his original experiment is going haywire and causing a lot of problems, so Beck needs to take her down. I'm so invested. Well, you should be, because this is the last level. This is the last fight. Should I, should, should I be pumped? I mean, should I care? Well, plot-wise, no, you don't have to care, but let me say this. You remember how the last level was actually well-designed, pretty fun? Actually, yes. I'm going to give half credit to this level for being really well-designed and a lot of fun, but the reason I only give it half credit is because while the level is good, the boss fight's bullshit. Yeah, I'll be the judge of that. Let's see if let's uh see this level that's taking a long time to load. There we go. Yes, it is. So uh, we st we still got plenty of stories. So uh, this level is designed around using all your powers again, especially Aviator's power later on in the level. Now, for most of this, there's going to be a lot of nuisance robots that you have to take care of. Using Brandish's weapon, this quick blade takes them out almost instantly. All right, so problem number one. Yes. You just started the last level, right? Yeah. Remember how the last level in most Mega Man games and even Mega Man X games is there's like some sort of something leading up to it, like you approaching the base or whatever, mm -hmm. make it feel like that you're actually making an assault on it. Here, it dumps you into what is it again? Another room where you got to sit here and fight fucking robots. <laughs> That's the, that's the first thing. It's like, are you ready? <laughs> then here's the here's some stupid bullshit that pads it out even further. Have fun, gamers. I didn't even think of that. Holy shit! This is the same thing we've seen in every other level. But because it's the last one, it seems it seems epic and fine. But no, it's the same shit. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> There's some good stuff in here. I promise you. It's just. It better show itself here fucking <laughs> soon, man. Uh, it's, we've, we've still got plenty of level, and I do find this one really fun, but it, you're still going to get recycled bullcrap. And here's where it gets to kind of the fun, kind of the not fun. So you slash these the things, hell? or you hit these things, and they turn into solid platforms. But if you go too far away from them, they go back to their, like, stress ball look. Now... When you hit them enough what? times, when they turn into these platforms, you can actually break them, and then they won't appear until you go far enough away, and then they just respawn. Oh. So it's it's kind of a cool concept. Uh, later on, there's going to be a room chock full of these things, and I'm going to get really ah, mad. Ooh. Saved it! Oh, nice. Let's but, see you put some MLG music on there. <laughs> You're going to make me do it now? 
Go. <laughs> mm, what you say? Mm, that you only meant well, well, come. Love it. Yes. But uh, right here, you got to use your head a bit. You can't go too far away, otherwise it'll just turn back into a stress ball. So I would say go right here. There. Yeah. I, th I thought that was going to smash you. I did, too. That's why I kind of panicked when I was recording this. <laughs> 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 it was basically that, yeah. Here we go. And we're coming up to... Well, uh, well, that was a that hmm. was pretty neat the way that the the blocks kind of solidify like that. You mm -hmm. can like this is this is fun. This is cool. Why the fuck is it showing up at the last goddamn level and no not idea. earlier? Problem number two. Okay, here you go. Here's a puzzle part of the stage. You need to get all of these platforms that you need to be solidified, and then make it up to the top right of this room. Now, there's a one-up right there that you can get. It's actually pretty easy to get. Just get rid of that thing. Dash over. There you go. Nothing to it. Uh -huh. Now, the thing about this is if you go too far away from certain squish balls, they become they become their normal selves again, or they just you know despawn the brick that you are on and start again. So you need to make sure you turn this one there, and then this guy, Waiting get rid of him. It. But uh, there you go. Oh, all right. Good job. So, not too bad. That would have taken me at least twice as long. So many cells. The entire place is made out of them. How many robots? Oh, go faster, please. Oh, please go faster. Well, uh, Keiji Inafuna used to work at Capcom, and Capcom is known for their abnormally slow elevator scenes. Yeah, they are. Uh, one thing I should also mention about these little squish ball things is they're kind of brilliant and kind of really obnoxious. Because when you go too far away, they respawn. They can become really easy to trigger traps. So, like, uh, when once you get rid of them, you forget they were there, and then you go too far away, you accidentally cell dash right into them. Which is kind of mean-spirited. But here's the part where I I give them full marks and then I take them away almost immediately. You need to use Aviator's power here. But they don't exactly tell you how it, how this works. So holding down the button lets you go forward. But, 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 and then you have to dash to go forward. But there are also parts here that have no air. And then you get this bullshit. So you need to get rid of some of them. You are going to die. Oh, eat it, sucker. Yeah. I'm not dying today. Oh. There we go. All right, now you're going to die. Extra life for my troubles, and yeah, I'm probably going to die. Unless I can find a way to break this guy. Hmm. One of these things has got to work. Come on. One of these things has to be useful for something. There we Aha! go. Ah, I knew it. So, let's see. Now we're back to aviator. Just need to make sure we don't die. Activate it, and there we go. See, I really like this part. It just wasn't done very well. There we go. This was, this was done better by Donkey Kong Country 2 in 1995. Wasn't that Stickerbush Symphony? Which one was that? That was uh, one of the uh, lava levels, actually. Ah, they, it was a hot hot balloon rusher or something like that. I think you had I remember. To, you had to ride on like these hotter balloons over uh, bits of lava, and there'd be like steam that would blow you up, and there'd be like bees in the way, and that was that was oh, good God. level design. And here I get to my third problem with this <laughs> level. Uh, having again to do with these sticky blocks because when you introduce a pretty fun unique idea at the very last level you realize that hey it's a fun unique idea and then it's fucking everywhere and it gets and it gets old pretty fast if you had it spread out earlier in the game maybe it would have been like something's all right i got this time is would have been done better that's what i'm saying are you we're at the final Sandy? boss but that's it yeah. oh yeah that was the level like, so, it's that's, come to this. We're, we're at the final boss already. Yeah, we're at the final boss. Off. Back. Stop her the final boss, the first phase? Save Trinity. Maybe. Sir, hmm. There better be a second phase. Here we go. Final boss, the professor's first creation, Trinity. Her height and weight are infinite. <laughs> Just 
just realized. You know, I, t I tried to make robots out of plasma and malice and hatred. Then I realized that silicone technologies work far better. All right, so Trinity can only be hurt when she turns red. So she basically takes the plasma away from herself and throws it at you. And then she becomes vulnerable and has a bunch of different positions where she can be at. To raise platforms, lower platforms, do this stuff. Acid rain, I guess you could say. And the best weapon to take her down on with is Battalion, because you can plant the bomb, wait for her to become vulnerable, set it off, and then it does damage. So I'm looking at her, and it looks like that she's uh, throwing all of her stuff at you, like spitting all it back at you, and then she sucks it back in? Yeah, pretty much. She's like a evil demonic version of Kirby, in a sense. That is... that is gross, man. <laughs> My life force! Bleh, there it is be like if ugh. it'd be like if I chew up a hot dog and I spit it back at you and <laughs> Ew. If it, when it misses I <laughs> suck it back in and then I spit it back at it oh, you again stop especially this like the acid oh. rain and then she sucks it back in oh, hey, we did it. that's it yeah there's Trinity huh She's one of those Quidditch balls? <laughs> She's secretly a golden snitch. That's it. There we go. There's your second uh. phase that you wanted so badly. Uh, this is the part that's bullshit. I mean, yeah, it is fun to fight uh, until you see some of the attacks that this final boss has. Yeah. See, uh, see, what's funny is that you just picked up Kirby Triple Deluxe recently. Yes. And uh, when you get to the final boss of that game, come back here and you'll laugh. <laughs> oh no! Is that a giant plasma snake thing? It looks like a gigantic plasma snake flower. <laughs> yeah. And mixed with Rita Repulsa for some reason. Here we go. This is where the boss fight gets really aggravating. All of those little segments of her body need to be cell dashed away in order to hit her head. Now, I mean, you, you can still you hit, hit her, her weak point in the head, but you need to be able to sell dash into her head. And the way to get through uh, that and not get hurt is to sell dash the other segments away. Well, that sucks. <laughs> all right, so I died. Cool. That's all right. Where do we go? Where do we go back to? We go back to right outside the boss room, so it's not too far. Do we got to do the first phase over again? Yep! Ah, that's where the part of bullshit comes in. We need to do that entire oh, first no. segment again. No! Every time you no. die, you need to do this first segment again. And the health you bring to the second part of the fight <laughs> is all you get. Oh, no, no refills, no, no nothing. They want you to no. be really good at this part of the fight so you can have as much health as you can for the second part of the fight. Now, me, personally, I get impatient when I have to do the same thing over and over and over again. So we're going to be starting the second phase of the fight with barely any health again. Oh, shit. Well, so, let's, let's see if I can do it. I mean, there, there's patterns here. I can figure them out. I think the credits are going to make a sterling comeback. Yeah, this is mainly where the credits make their comeback and almost make me lose, because this took a long time to do. There's death number two. That's the story of the tortoise and the hare, except the tortoise had three million dollars to spare. <laughs> that was a good rhyme there, I really like that. Hey, hey, that's an Aesop fable for you. I love that story. I loved it when my mom told me that story when I was young about the tortoise and the hare and not caring for the three million dollars he did not have to spare. It was better than nothing. It was better than nothing ever after. Aw, I go to sleep to that story. <laughs> <laughs> Just like how people go to sleep to this game. Hey! Hey! Ho -ho! <laughs> oh, and I still find it hilarious that this past week, level 5 bought Comcept. The Leighton guys bought the company that made this game. Do you know, oh, I'll, I'll believe it. If level 5 is behind it, then it has a chance of being at least charming. I'll, I'll agree to that. If they can fix because it. Because 
if, if this game had, like, an ounce of charm or anything that's, uh, memorable or anything fun or anything about it, it would be a whole lot better. But it's just a bland piece of paper. That's it. It's cardboard, even. Oh! Like, this is the final boss, and, uh, it might be because I'm not playing, but I don't feel, uh, like this is the final, final boss. Mm, it feels final boss-ish because it's, it's got the moves, it's really annoying, especially with this crap. So you want to tell me oh. that one dude, the one dude who made I want to be the guy, huh? makes a be makes a better, more <laughs> epic boss, uh, makes a better, more epic looking boss fight than KG Unifuni can do with three million dollars? Well, I mean, I like the design, and I hate I want to be the guy, so... I guess he's he's got a point from me. Oh, well, can't argue with that, I suppose. I mean, do you want to play I Want to Be the Guy? <sighs> no, because no. it's a game for morons. You don't play I Want to Be the Guy. I Want to Be the Guy plays you. <laughs> which which is true. It's, it's a fool's it's... game. It's like, if this is really, like, final, final boss... That second phase would have, like, a whole bunch of filters, and the lights would be dim, and there'd be, you know, the level would be falling apart, and maybe there'd be, like, robots coming up and, like, you know, like, you know, trying to fight the, the virus Trinity has over them. You know, maybe it'd be something epic and fun and cool like that, but nope, it's just, beat the boss. Well, I mean, what Mega Man games have you played that had an epic final boss? Uh, six? Uh, well, actually, any of the first seven. Um, mm, well, nine, what, ten, even. The the one that comes to mind as like really memorable is uh, is two when you have to fight the alien. And then it turns yeah. out it's not an alien; it's just a project projection. Well, Mega Man Six with the whole uh, you fight this guy named Doctor X, but then uh, you you go through the whole castle only to find out that it was Doctor Wily the whole time, of course, and you got to go through another castle. That feels like final bossness to me, you know. Yeah, but still, when you're talking about gameplay, it's practically the same thing. You're, you're shooting your powers at a robot and hoping it dies. Mega Man Zero, one and four, well, one through four had better final boss fights. Well, Mega Man Zero was designed as being like instead of just a jumpy shooty platformer, it was just like like hardcore jumpy shooty platformer. Well, this is a well. What is this? A hardcore jumpy dashy platformer? This is more a jumpy shooty platformer that, you know, lost its way. It lost its way, all right. Oh my god, I actually made it through that phase. Holy shit. Well, maybe level 5 will make a good mighty number 10. <laughs> Not 9 2. Um, mighty number 9 2. Oh, oh no. We didn't oh, think about god. this. All right, we're almost done. We're almost done. And this is going to pretty much be it. I've got plenty of health, and... Come on! Yeah, uh, what? Is that it? Oh, come on! What? Oh, last little throws of death. Oh, but wait. But wait! But wait! But wait! But, oh. But, oh. Hey, but we did wait. it! It's hey, we, di we did do it. It got did. Come on. Ooh, that was... That was bad. I don't think the game knew what to do with that. But yeah, as soon as Trinity's core comes out from the snake thing, you need to dash into it. I spent about two minutes trying to figure that out, saying, what am I supposed to do with this ball thing? Whoa, and then you sped run it! Nice job! Yeah, I beat the game in under three hours. Is that RC from Transformers? <laughs> oh, she's always picking up after all the boys. But now the all boys those pick up after her. The roles have been reversed. Oh no, wait, it's a Gundam like thing. What the? Like, I I'm seeing bits of Marina for Mischief Makers, SD Gundam, fucking Samus Aran, uh, Fighting Polygon Team, XJ9, and. Um, You're seeing way too much in this. I just think it's a robot. Queen Victoria's dress. <laughs> Jesus. 
can we play as Trinity? No. What? No. Nah, it's gone. Oh, Fuck. This is the one time we see Trinity, and it's at the very end of the game, and that's it. <laughs> oh, this game's shit. <laughs> but hey, hey ch check out check out this awesome <coughs> robot design we got. Now she's dead. Oh wait, now hey, she's hey, here. Look. We saved oh. Trinity and the other mighty numbers, and this is what you get for your ending. You get official artwork. Why couldn't we? We fixed Trinity. That's how she really looks. Isn't that cool? Why didn't they make any of these for the rest of the game? And then it's just like old times, where Beck goes to the Battle Coliseum and fights other robots. Isn't that sweet? And he loses because he sucks, remember? That's awesome. Hey, what else do we get? I mean, he gave the powers back to the Mighty Numbers, right? So, uh, I mean, they weren't his. That's it! That's, That's it. it! We won! <laughs> we beat the credits! <laughs> 19 motherfucking minutes left in the credits, and even with all the deaths left in, and even when doing some of the side missions, I still beat the credits with almost 20 minutes to spare. Oh, wow. Jeez. That is that is pathetic. Oh, we're not gonna sit here for the whole goddamn thing, are we? No, no. I just wanted to show the main credits because as soon as it reaches the backers, I just want to show something kind of cool. You see that little number thing that I'm messing with up there at the top left-hand corner? Yeah. What is that? If you type in a specific number, and that is your backer number, your name will show up red in the credits. Ah, were you a backer? Oh, God, no. Oh, okay. No, I know a stinker when I see it. I'm not going to do that. But let me go ahead and speed up the main credits because it takes so long just to get through the regular stuff before we get to the backers. And, oh, my God, I'm so glad it's finally done because I started recording this like the hour after I beat the game because I was like, oh, my God, we got to do this now. I, I <laughs> We have an idea. You gave me that idea before I beat it. And then it's just like, okay, let's do it. Let's speed run this thing. Uh, well, let's. We're like you, and I get to just shake my head and go, why, man, why? Yeah, that's right. And that's pretty much all you can do, just because this came out so mediocre. I, I don't I, get I, it. I, I want to go play Shovel Knight now, because it's just... That's a far better game in every conceivable aspect. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, the reputation definitely didn't help this game, just because of all the setbacks and everything else, and the fact that the 3DS version of Mighty Number no. 9 is still not out yet. But it's coming, apparently. It's still coming. But, uh, yeah, a lot of bad press and publicity did not help this game in the slightest for being so boring. But anyway... You were Mighty Number no. 901! Yeah, if you did not put a name in with your Kickstarter pledge... You became a generous backer. There are about 40,000 generous backers in this. People who did not get their name put in the credits. And this is a godsend. If you press start, you can skip 10,000 names. So let's go ahead and restart here at 10,000. And here I get to show off here. There you go. You pick a number, and then it shows up in red. Ah, okay. So if you knew your exact backer number, you could... You could technically skip the credits to where your name is, the certain numbers, and then type in your name, and then you'll see it show up. <laughs> this is this is ridiculous. It is. This, this is, it is so ridiculous. Maddening. And the, the, the probably the best part is <laughs> I watched a lot of these names go by, and one of them said Camille was right. That's the backer name they went with, and it was absolutely hilarious. Because he was. What did he say? He said that Keiji Inafune is not a game designer. He's a businessman. He's a businessman. Man. Business yeah. man. T -t 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 Thanks a lot for your donation. Skip the final part? Yes. Because guess what? We got what? story! Oh, Trinity was brought under control when she absorbed Beck's empathy and caring nature. His Beck's got a heart! It's adorable! Makes it possible wow, I guess evolve. Detroit Beyond Human isn't original at all. <laughs> Just wait. This will revolutionize the science of robotics. The fate of all robots. Of all mankind. 
<laughs> you got lucky, that's all. Cleaning up your own mess doesn't make you a visionary. Yeah, food I Besides, or, oh. who can guarantee the behavior <laughs> of robots left to their own devices? Robots evolving. Bah, own. humbug. This heart of yours is Keiji Defune said once that the Japanese dangerous. game industry is dead. Remain unconvinced. Funny. How dead is it now? Don't call me that. My name is William White. Willie White! I'll show you. Willie White, also known as Bill Blackwell. Ha ha. Ha. That's. Then only time will tell if this mighty number nine. Yes. 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 It's a curse. Yes. Blessing. Or a curse. Guess what that is? That would be uh what the creator thought of his own game. That's a cliffhanger for a possible sequel. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. I don't, I, I don't think so. Uh-uh. Nope. Uh-uh. Not happening. Not a chance. No chance in hell, man. Not happening. No sequels. Never. Oh, -uh. oh my god, Not I can't believe they thought of that. Happening. Mm -mm. Oh, next time on Mighty Number no. 9, we're doing some challenges, and then we're finishing up the entire LP with the DLC. Woo! Hey, I just realized... You know what tonight is? It's prom night. And, and I'm an anime fan and... Oh god, what does that mean? <laughs> You're a sad loser. <laughs> Look at him cry like an anime fan on prom night. That's the joke. Good night, everyone.